بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's such a pleasure to be amongst such knowledgeable and uh, inspiring uh, individuals and leaders. It's uh, truly, uh, truly uh, humbling to me to be part of the Muhs Network. Uh, Saudi Arabia is a land of rich opportunity in many spheres. This is also very true when it comes to entrepreneurship. According According to the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, uh, around 81.5% of the adult population in Saudi Arabia perceive good opportunity to start a business. However, about 33.7% consider actually starting a business within the next three years. And only 11.5% are engaged in early stage entrepreneurial activity. That is basically uh, early stage uh, startups and SMEs between zero and three and a half years. Now to add more context from an entrepreneurship ecosystem perspective, we can do some ratio. If you look at the ratio between entrepreneurial intention, that is basically um, adult, the adult population in Saudi Arabia that plan to start a business within the next three years and perceived opportunity, it stands at 0.41. Of course, a figure closer to one indicates more effective entrepreneurship. Now, the other ratio between early stage entrepreneurial activity and entrepreneurial intention is about 0.34. Now, if we look at the ratio between early stage entrepreneurial activity and perceived opportunity, we observe that it's quite low. These ratios basically suggest a less conducive context for aspiring and potential entrepreneurs in Saudi. And this is due to a host of challenges, such as policy and regulations, access to finance, access to talent, uh, which top the list. It's worth mentioning here that those actual challenges are somewhat <laughs> universal, of course, with differing scales and contexts. Now, overcoming those challenges and capitalizing on the perceived opportunity requires what I always advocate, the invigoration of an entrepreneurship ecosystem, which consists of many elements that could be subsumed under six main domains, an enabling policy, um, appropriate funding vehicles, a stimulating culture, a wide range of support institutions and systems, a rich pool of talent, and a venture-friendly market. Hence was the idea of the Saudi Entrepreneurial Ecosystem Lab, C-Lab for short, which embodies a stakeholder approach to building an entrepreneurship ecosystem. It basically curates an online venue where entrepreneurs can showcase their enterprises and connect with other players in their local ecosystem. Service providers can promote their professional services that cater to SMEs and startups, support organizations, can connect with other stakeholders to fine tune, shape, and drive their different support uh, initiatives and programs. Investors can identify potential deal flow and collaborate with entrepreneurs. And last but not least, mentors can connect with local entrepreneurs to help them in tackling opportunities and challenges. Ultimately, C Lab is a platform that harnesses the power of collective impact through enabling the interaction between these stakeholders with the objective of co-creating the ecosystem that is larger and stronger than any single stakeholder's individual efforts. To further drive the stakeholder's engagement, the platform facilitates connecting with the entrepreneurial community at the regional level across Saudi Arabia. The platform also provides access to relevant publications and reports on Saudi Arabia, tools for starting and managing enterprises, local entrepreneurial stories, and related policies and regulations. Entrepreneurs can post full and part-time job opportunities and internship opportunities as well. And also they can engage with their local entrepreneurial community through different fora and events. And now to observe the evolution of the ecosystem over time, all of the data generated uh, on the platform are shared as national and regional metrics on a live dashboard. However, numbers are not the end of the story. C-Lab also publishes a monthly newsletter that highlights 
different challenges and opportunities, trending topics. It also presents some tips and advice shared by entrepreneurs, investors, mentors, and experts. Many of you know Vision 2030 of Saudi Arabia, which is based on three key pillars. The second pillar in specific of a thriving economy with rewarding opportunities aims at stimulating the economy and, and diversifying revenues, which also underscores SMEs as important agents of economic growth that create jobs, support innovation, and boost exports. C-Lab addresses at least directly four uh, different uh, visions, uh, mandated plans. The most important of which are enabling entities to collaborate with relevant stakeholders and enabling <coughs> entrepreneurs to realize the potential of their ideas and ventures. Uh, uh, these are key measures to drive this, uh, to advance this vital sector, uh, especially the contribution today of the uh, SMEs is quite modest and low. But hopefully we can reach to uh, uh, more actually and more, more, more and more contribution of this important sector to reach to more even th uh, than 35%. And time's up to achieve that. <laughs> and to achieve that it takes an ecosystem. Thank you very much.